Thank you so much for taking the time to view this as we seek really to get the gospel out and to put people in the position that they can hear and know Jesus Christ. Uh, again, I'm Jomo Johnson. Uh, the ministry that I'm with is a house church network called Church for Black Men. I uh, work under dcforjesus.org and also a partner with Luke 10 Ministry, a house church network uh, in D.C. And really internationally, they train people all around the world. So really the goal and the desire is to be able to start a network of house churches uh, for black men and their families all throughout the USA. We want people to be able to find vibrant families of Jesus, not a church building, not necessarily kind of denomination, but basically these small, intimate, transparent, authentic house churches, just people gathering together, uh, knowing the Lord. Uh, this is similar to the book of Acts chapter 2, where they didn't have the buildings per se, but they simply met in homes where they broke bread, uh, they listened to the word of God, and they encountered the risen Christ. Uh, it's my desire to see black men really engrafted into the body of Christ. Uh, historically in America, we as black men have had uh, Christian faith. Many, uh, I should say, a good majority of African Americans identify as Christian. But we as black men, primarily, we believe in the gospel, but not necessarily are plugged into a body of Christ. And there are many reasons for that. And I talk about that on the website and some of the blog and podcasts that we do. But ultimately, we believe that the small, intimate house church setting where Jesus is the leader, there's no one person kind of leading and doing it all, where that type of model is actually the means by which men encounter the voice and hear uh, Jesus and are able to have their lives impacted by him. So what we are seeking to do is, well, one quick thing. It's been, I think, proven and shown as well that the greatest way to evangelize and reach new people in the community is by planning churches. Well, primarily that is true, but oftentimes church plants are done in a very long form, strategic, getting a building, building somewhat of a ministry, kind of that traditional way, which is nothing wrong with that. But the only challenge with that is that it takes so much time, money, effort, and energy, and there's really no guarantee that it's even going to work. So if we can create a model or really go back to a model that is quick, that is simple, and that allows God to be the center, uh, we believe that we can reach more people for the gospel and allow them to be discipled and grow in their faith in a much more productive way. So what we are seeking is black African-American Christians to simply be willing to open up their homes once a week. That's it. That's it. That is the basic primary commitment, simply being willing to open up your home once a week. Uh, opening up the home is a huge step. Obviously, the home is, you know, one of the, uh, the most prominent possessions that we have. Uh, it's very private to us. It's kind of our inner sanctuary. But one of the things that God requires of us is everything. And so to be willing to offer our homes to him, not just for a place of our own rest and repose, but for the sake of the gospel, and to simply be willing to say, hey, I'm going to open up my home once a week for a few hours to be able to have believers come to hear the word of God, to encounter Jesus. This simple thing can have so much impact on your community and also on you. And to look at it biblically, people don't realize that the first message that Jesus preached, the first message that he preached was come and see where I live. Come and see where I live, the gospel of John. Jesus had this hospitality that engaged people so much that his first disciples were able to come and see where he lived and through that were able to gain a relationship with him and do the work of ministry. So again, the first thing that we're simply seeking is people to open up their homes. For those who feel led, we want to be able to work with you, to train you, to learn how to co-host a house church. We never will put anybody in a position where they're just doing it on their own. No, we want to work with you. We want to be able to give you resources to disciple you, to train you so that you're working alongside with us in this house church. You're learning, you're observing the Luke 10 method, the Acts 2 method, and being able to help and partner with us so that in due season or in due time, if the Lord calls you to be a leader of a house church, you have all the skills, the gifts, and the abilities to be able to do so. So again, 
being willing to be a co-host, having one of our leaders or one of our members to be able to co-host with you in your home is a great step. And then thirdly, for those who want to go even deeper, is strategic training. Luke 10 offers a free course called Church 101 and Leader 101, also DC for Jesus. They do the same. And that helps you to be able to understand how to host a house church in such a way where it's not you-centered, but it's Christ-centered. That is not many church, but it is the church that is reflecting the glory of God. As everyone communally shares, checks in, we connect on a heart-to-heart -heart level, and then God connects us on a spiritual level. So this is what we desire to do, to simply present the gospel as a vibrant family of Jesus, not a building, not a denomination, not a religion, but those whom God has called. And therefore, we need you. We simply need you. Uh, it is the goal and desire to uh, launch as many of these house churches starting in the D.C. area as possible. As of now, we have one. Uh, we're going to expand that from one service to two starting the end of January. But our goal is to find people like you that say, I have a heart for Jesus. I have a heart for people. I want to be able and be willing to offer the little that I have, even my home once a week for meeting, and to really watch what God can do through it. Uh, my brother and my, or my sister, whoever is watching, I want to encourage you to check out our website, uh, www.blackmen.church. You also can visit dcforjesus.org or give me a call. Call me if you feel as if God is tugging your heart right now saying, I think I need to do this. Give me a call and we can connect with other leaders to be able to discern how God may be calling you. Uh, my phone number is 912-268-1890. Again, 912-268-1890. I would love to connect with you. I would love to hear how the Lord has worked in your heart, worked in your life. I would love to share more about DC for Jesus and blackmen.church. But most importantly, I would love to see us work together to bring vibrant families of Jesus in the neighborhood, in the home, in the presence of every person in walking distance. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, call me, 912-268-1890. 